There was a helicopter hovering above the yard, and soldiers slid down ropes what were waving guns and shouting what we had to stay still and put our arms up and get in the helicopter what was landing. And I say we can't put our arms up and stay still at the same time, and as the helicopter were landing anyway, they didn't have to slide down ropes, it was just showing off. And we shouted the soldiers to get stuffed. We wasn't going nowhere. The soldiers didn't pay no attention, and one of them picked you up what was a bad idea, because you bit his hand and he dropped you, so you bit his leg, and he was going to kick you. But mum and dad jumped on the soldier and knocked him over. The other soldiers were cross and started shouting and waving their guns around even more. But then there was a snarling, screeching sound, and for a second we thought it were Granny, but it were Ginger the cat. He came out of the front door like a rocket, and we could see he had been at Aunt Myrtle's special leaves and he was right revved up. And he attacked a soldier what had picked you up, and a soldier would be able to fight off a normal cat, but what ginger wasn't normal, and he weren't even ginger after I had accidentally zapped him with electricity, and he had turned black. Then he had climbed up on a rocket what we had, and it were an atomic rocket, and after that ginger sort of glowed all over, and when you stroked him he crackled, and you could see right through your hand it were right weird. But it weren't good to stroke him, because all his fur fell off, and Aunt Myrtle stuck some more fur on him, because what he looked stupid without fur. But, because Aunt Myrtle don't like fur, because it comes from animals, and what it should stay on animals, she used feathers instead, and was going to dye the feathers ginger colour, because he was called ginger. But what, she didn't have no ginger colour, so she dyed them yellow instead. I said it weren't the right colour but she said he were artistic and stuck them all over him. Then I helped Aunt Myrtle and put some blue dye on Ginger, what I said was artistic. And you said what you wanted to be artistic as well and poured glitter all over him. What you said was more artistic, but was just stupid. And the glitter stuck, so he's feathery and yellow and blue and glows and sparkles like a firework and his eyes are spinning because he's been at Aunt Myrtle's special leaves and got muscles sticking out all over the place and his claws are flashing and he's crazy and he rips into the soldiers like they was mice. One of the soldiers grabs me by the scruff of the neck and lifts me up. Ginger stops mauling the face of the soldier he is sitting on and looks at the soldier what is holding me, and that's good, because Ginger is going to tear into the soldier and teach him a right lesson. But Ginger looks for a while, then he yawns, lifts his leg up and puts his head down and licks his bum, and that was just typical. If the soldier weren't holding me up by my shirt and collar and I wasn't dangling in the air, I would have karate chopped the soldier and knocked him out and got away. But all I could do was wave my legs and arms about and shout to mum and dad to help. But they was busy emptying the pockets of the soldiers what Ginger had whacked, and taking their guns from them, and telling them to stop moaning and bleeding. Then the door of the helicopter opens, and the driver gets out, and he's got a box what's clicking and chirping like it was full of crickets. Grandad says what it's a Geiger counter what counts atoms, and the helicopter driver says that's right, and everybody has got to get away from the cat, because he's atomic, and he has to be put in a box made of lead. Then that box has got to be put in another box made of lead. Then the two boxes got to be put in a big hole, then covered with concrete, with a sign on top saying what people must keep away for a million years. We all looked at Ginger, who was standing on his legs and spinning around and around, kicking his back legs in the air and waving his tail in circles so fast it were making a whistling sound what it was like a canary being strangled. Aunt Myrtle says what Ginger is being creative, and that's because he's been at her special leaves, and she tells the helicopter driver what he should come back later because Ginger will wear himself out and go to sleep, then he will be easy to catch. Mum tells the helicopter driver to take all the soldiers away. And when he comes back, bring some bloomin' peaches, cause all we had in the house was bloomin' spinach and we were starving and what we need real food. Just then we heard a siren, and it were a police car, and it were going so fast it came round the corner all slanted up on two wheels, and then flattened out, and went up on the other two wheels, and the horn was going and the lights was flashing, and it drove around in a circle one way, then skidded in a circle the other way, then it straightened up and drove straight into the helicopter. And there were a smashing sound, and the helicopter driver shouts what his helicopter is smashed, then because the soldier what had been holding me is looking at the rumpus if he gets about me and I kick him in the knee and he drops me and I run away, but he doesn't care what I am escaping because he is looking at the police car. Everybody is, because we can hear someone cackling and it's Granny. She climbs out of the window because the door is all crunched and she's waving her hook around and frothing and gibbering and Grandad says what well, Granny has got pizzas and we all cheer and run over to get the pizzas. But before we get there there's more sirens and loads of police cars come around the corner and race up the road towards us. And that was just a start because Granny had been thinking and when Granny gets to thinking things can get right leery.